Okay, this is like my fourth or fifth edit. <laughs> See if I can get it right this time without without trying to hold the camera and screwing something else up. Anyway, I'm making a new video, which should be obvious, and it's actually a heating and air conditioning video. Well, air conditioning. Remember a while back when we did the one about bypassing the circuit control board because the blower wasn't coming on? Condenser come on outside, but the blower wasn't coming on. And, and I had gone in and verified that the blower, I did a demonstration like the, you knew the blower worked because you bypassed the circuit board and you could fire it up off the mains. Well, I was saying that, you know, here's a shortcut to hook up the blower so the blower runs 24 hours a day, the air conditioner kicks on and off it like it needs to, and then we'll come back in a few days. Well, the biggest complaint or comment I had was that, Mike, you lazy bastard, you didn't put a relay on it. So, to shut it on and off when the, when the thermostat called it on and off. So, I'm, I'm de lazy myself here. Um, you can put that in the dictionary somewhere. And we're going to go through it real simple. And it's real easy, and you don't need too many parts. If you, you can even make a little go bag. Uh, stick them in the Ziploc baggie for future use. Uh, that'll make it easier if you have to do it again. So here we go. You remember my uh, control setup board that I had made before. We did some other test videos on. I'm not going to power anything up today. We're just using it for demonstration purposes. All right, <clears throat> let's walk through the normal process. Normally you have, we're going to consider this live 124 volts coming from the breaker box. That goes up to your door switch that you would have on, uh, on your air handler or furnace, most likely furnace in this tight case. And then once it's, the door is closed, power is normally flowing through here, which comes over to the main end, or L2 end, if you will, right here. A normal thermostat would call, blah, 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 blah. It would energize up here. It would uh, turn on such and such relay. It would pass voltage to, uh, it would pass voltage to the black down here, which was marked cool, which would go to the motor, and the fan motor would spin up. And we'd be all good. Well, it's a little bit different because we need to put something in the circuit because in this case something's wrong on the board and let me admonish you one more time technicians out there it's okay to bypass a board temporarily to give them air conditioning never ever bypass a board to give them heat you don't know what's wrong with the board it might not just be a relay you could have some burned traces other damage some safety on that board could be shot um, turn the gas off and leave it off until you get turned come back with a new board so I just I want to say as many times as I need to, but it's okay on AC because really on AC the only thing the board's doing is uh, passing control to one relay uh, from the thermostat. It closes and opens one's relay and that's it. So it's not that big of a deal in cooling mode. <coughs> but here we go. <coughs> Sorry for my congestion today. Well, okay, so let's walk back through it. What you need, you need a few things, four things. You need two pieces of thermostat wire. Now we're going to call these for the low voltage 24 volt thermostat wire or other small wire. And you're going to need to put uh, normal uh, push on tab end terminals on them. And that's it for there. You need one heavy gauge jumper wire that is capable of handling the amp load that the blower is going to pull. And you need a little dual spade. All right? That's all we need right now. So, to, and, oh, I'm sorry, fifth item, fifth item, the all important relay. Now I've just mounted this one here. Uh, make sure the relay is rated to handle the amp load of the blower motor. This is actually out of a heater, so I know this one's rated at 30 amps. Um, <clears throat> so here, let's go. The easiest way to get started is we'll uh, start with the thermostat wires. After you have made sure that not only the door switch is open, but the main breaker going to the unit is open, uh, off as well. Take your voltmeter, check your voltages down here on L1, L2. Make sure you have no power at all. And then once you do that, we'll come back, we'll go up here. Um, so we need to hook up the thermostat wires first. Let's grab a yellow and let's plug it into the one side of the coil here. Here. Oop. These are not actually the right size tabs. These are larger than what I normally use uh, or what I need. And we'll slide it under the Y, which I've already loosened up. So I put in the Y. And some people say you can put on the G. You probably can, but... Keep it simple. I know I have a Y call, so I'm putting on Y. Um, then I'll pick up my other wire. And the wire color doesn't matter. You know what they're for. 
Um, I'll put my other thermostat wire here, and we'll push it down here, slide it on the terminal. Yeah, this is the coil. This is the normal. It's just the coil for the 24 volts, and we'll roll this up here, and we'll put this in the common slot. If I can get it pushed in there. Yes, there we go. All right. At this point, you would tighten them down. So I'll go ahead and just tweak them down just a hair. My hands will quit shaking. There we go. So that's tight. Now we need to pass proper voltage to where we need it at. So we're going to come over here to follow the power from the switch. Come over to the board here. We'll pull the wire off the board. This is L2. At this point, we will come over here and get our little jumper, our little T-jumper, and we will push that on there, like so. And then we will fetch our black wire coming from the door switch, and we'll push it on one side here. Then we'll go back to our, our wire here, <coughs> and we will come over here and plug our heavy wire into the other side of that tab right there. And then we will plug that into one half into whatever slot is on the the normally open tab over here. All right, let's get that on there. It'll go. Don't be rude. Go ahead and pinch it down. Anyway, let's see. It's it's on there good enough. So anyway, okay. So we have the common and the 24 volt hot, and this is going to be for your high voltage 120. Now we need to come over here and find the fan. The fan in this place, or high speed for cool, is the black wire here. Uh, and we will pull it, and we will run it over, and we will push it down in the slot here. All right. And the next thing you're going to do is come over here and find the heat wire. It's marked heat on the board here. And you're going to pull it off and put it on one of the ones marked spare. You might have one that says hold, or if you don't have a spare or hold, you would tape this off. Basically, this is to keep someone from accidentally engaging the heat. And, uh, oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's, well, it doesn't matter because the way I'm wiring up, you're right. Never mind, let me back up. You can leave that on heat here because I'm thinking of another project. <laughs> All right, so let's walk back through it. You now have the mains coming in, goes to the door switch. The door switch walks its way up and comes over here and plugs onto the dual spade for L2, high pole, this is 120 volts. The other black wire of it comes out over here and walks its way over to your coil, plugs in on the normally open side. The back side of the normally open comes here, comes out to this wire, and goes off to your, uh, your blower motor. And you have these two here. So what happens now is you get a call for air conditioning. It comes up, passes the voltage through here, comes down, activates the coil here. That coil normally does the normally close on here, runs the uh, voltage from uh, runs the voltage coming from the piggy t piggyback here over to here to your blower. Does that make sense? I have a lot of wires in the way here, so it's kind of hard to see. Let's do it one more time. So you have line voltage coming in, which goes to here, comes out, goes around, and plugs in here. So we have hot voltage at this point right now. When the air conditioning call calls for the Y call, and it activates the coil over here, now this closes, and we have voltage coming up here, which goes to the blower motor. This is the blower motor wire, high speed. So... That way, it comes on and goes off uh, any time that you uh, activate the air conditioning, and it'll just shut it off when the air conditioning reaches temperature. It's kind of hard to see with a mass of wires, but uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post, and I'm sure some other people will help as well answer questions. Uh, sorry, it's been so long since I did a video, and I didn't practice this one too much, so uh, <laughs> but I appreciate you all being there for me. And hopefully this will help somebody. Thanks.